What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more The Witcher. Today we are doing the final episode. We are finally at the season one finale. We are here. And you guys said this one is a doozy. So be ready. So from what we know, I finally figured out the timeline of things. And it kind of seems like Yennefer's timeline is... I, I have no idea. <laughs> It seems like Yennefer's timeline is a it's a little bit off to me, but I'm I'm still I'm still hoping I'm still hoping that there's some explanation is somewhere at the end of the at in the end of episode seven, uh, we saw Siri screaming, you know what I'm saying? She's screaming, and things are about to let loose. So I don't know. It seems like she was about to be captured by the same kids that she used to play with. To take back to to Nilfgaard, whatever they want to call themselves, right? So I'm excited to go watch this. So I don't want to waste too much time before we jump into this episode. Um, just um, understanding the timeline, knowing that Geralt was in prison, he, he escaped, and he was looking for he was looking for Ciri, but. We all know what happened from episode one, how she got to where she was. Um, so who knows where Geralt is right now? Because we only know the events of what happened up to um, the queen's death and following Ciri throughout these seven episodes, knowing where she's at now. But where is Geralt right now in Ciri's timeline? We need to find that out. So let's go watch this episode and see how they tie everything together before they end this episode. I'm excited. Hope you are too. Hit that like button and let's go do this. All right. So here we are. The Witcher. Season 1, Episode 8. Season Finale. And man... I have to say, as as I said at the end of the video, this has got to be one of the most confusing season ones I've ever watched. Nothing was made clear. <laughs> I'm sorry. There are certain things that was made clear, but most of it, in my opinion, there's so much more to the story now because you're like, okay, why is Siri asking about Yennefer? She's never met. She's never met her. Right? She's never met her. Um, I'm probably going to watch this episode over again. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to watch the episode again because there are some, some aspects of the episode that was telling you certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like him talking to his mom, kind of blaming his mom for, you know... It seems like you voluntarily, voluntarily, um, like voluntarily give your son to become a witcher. So Vesemir is the only one that he knows, uh, or you could say is a father figure to him, taught him everything. You know, I don't even want to know what they do to, to, um, to turn into, or what the, um, the ritual is to become a witcher because it must be something extremely painful because to the way out things happen in this in this show in this series I mean you know if you want to attain power you have to sacrifice something you have to sacrifice something okay so in my in my opinion in my humble opinion as I said I'm gonna give a thorough after I watch this episode again, I will be able to do the season one review and I'll give you guys a, a, a proper breakdown of what I think is going on. So, you know what I'm saying? Because at the moment right now, that final episode, it's a mindfuck. Okay, let's let's just get it out of the way and just say it, call it what it is. It is a mindfuck. Okay, so in, 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 in my opinion... In my opinion, what I think is what I think is going on. Okay, we finally get Geralt and the Siri union, right? They finally found each other, right? Um, also, 
I would have never imagined that the guy that's been carting him around was was basically the husband of the the lady that picked up Siri at the freaking you know what I'm saying market or whatever or found her in the field again. And I think there's some more deeper meaning to how that came about. But also I think the main thing I think the main thing that really really brought the story home for me. I I want to know because it seems like I think I think Yennefer is in a different timeline. And that's what I was saying. And I was trying to say during the episode because I remember her. Because she's lived at least she's she's up there. Because she said she's been around for decades. Because after the events of like episode, I think it was like episode two or three. When she sacrificed her womb, got pretty. Right? I think... I remember when when the caravan got attacked, I was trying to say it, but I didn't get to finish what I was trying to say. When the caravan got attacked, I remember her saying that she's been around for, for decades, you know, just, you know, serving these kings and kings and, and, and these nations or whatever for decades. So I, she's been around for a while before she even met Geralt. I still believe that they're in a different timeline because he was just on the battlefield calling for her why was he there he went to say both of them was calling out for yennefer i don't know what happened to yennefer of course they're not going to show us what if something happened to her i don't think she's dead i think maybe she used too much chaos and and, and probably like i don't know fainted or something they just can't find her but i don't believe that yennefer is dead you can't kill off yennefer you just can't you can't kill off yennefer okay tris is okay seemingly everybody else seems to be dead so to say it survived the the war but i and and then the northern kingdoms they showed up at the end to do what i don't know you know after the battle has been won so as i said I'm going to watch over a couple of these episodes again to see if I can piece things together more conclusively for myself. And then I will do a season one review. So if you guys have any theories of what's going on, put them in the comment section, man. As always, leave a like. You already know what to do. Leave a like on the video and also um subscribe if you're new there's other things that you can check out on the channel i know this is done now um there's other things that you can check out on my channel there's a ton of tv shows that we've watched tv shows that we're currently watching that you could enjoy um it's so sad that i can't even I, that i can't recommend to you guys rome and game of thrones on the channel because i've taken those down because of copyright issues i've taken those reactions completely off of the channel so um hopefully i don't know maybe if you guys know a way that i can get back those videos that would be great you know what i'm saying i don't want to call i don't call youtube about reaction videos because i don't think they're gonna give a shit so um but in any case man this has been a great season one if i was supposed to rate it right now i would say it's a cool 9.5 out of 10 um the writing is absolutely incredible. The editing, everything that they, they're doing to throw the audience off, it's amazing. I like the structure of it. It lets you not know too much, but it lets you know enough to be interested. And that's what's so cool about the show. So thank you guys so much once again. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Just remember gratitude is never enough. It's been a while since I said that, you know. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys next time.